Good morning and welcome to another vlog and another dyeing day. Today I'm going to be dyeing up some more fiber. So I'm going to prep it as I have been. Um, first when I weigh it, I wind it into the ball and then make kind of like a large skein with it and tie it off. So for my first color, I decided I'm going to do um, both the BFL, which is on this side. I'll see if I can get you to see the difference up close. I've got the BFL here and the Merino on this side. And I'm going to try to do the same color on both of them, um, which is quite a bit more fiber than I usually do in one round. So I'm interested to see how it changes on both of the different bases. Um, and my plan is to do something in the mint family. I've been really loving mint lately. I have knit myself a mint sweater and my daughter as well. And so I decided to try to translate that onto the fiber. So my fiber has been soaking in the citric acid solution, but I'm going to mix my dyes because it is nap time and I'm using my opportunities. So I have some of the citric acid water in this bucket right here that I'll be mixing it with. And I do want to make quite a lot because I have 400 grams of fiber to be dyeing. And so for my mint green, I'm going to be mixing yellow and turquoise to make a green. And typically if you're mixing like paint, you would mix it with white but since we don't have white dye i'm going to be really diluting it um so i'm going to need quite a lot to dilute within my mixture i don't think i've ever really talked about these but i picked up these little itty bitty <laughs> measuring spoons on amazon a while ago and i'm so glad i did when it comes to writing down recipes and things to be able to get to 164th of a teaspoon is really helpful um, especially when you're doing small batches at a time So I really do love this deep green color, but I'm going to need it a lot more diluted to make that minty green on the fiber. But once I use this, I can add just a little bit to like a large bucket of water and then put my fiber in it. But I wanted to get this base green mixed so I can wash my equipment and move into the dyeing part. So I decided I'm going to dye this fiber on the stovetop rather than in the oven. Um, I do want it to be primarily that minty green color with maybe some pops of the dark, but um, yeah, I think it's gonna work pretty well to do it stovetop. So my plan is to pour the citric acid water into my pot and I want to add some of the dye first and then put my fiber in and then bring it up temperature to heat set um, just to get it throughout the whole fiber. That's what I'm gonna be working on. This here's the merino and it's so delicate. I really do have to be careful. I'm going to be dyeing the merino first and then I'll do the BFL after. So far, I just have the citric acid solution. So I added a couple tablespoons. You can see it is very faint still, so I'm going to add another one. So this is what I ended up with. 
You can see I deviated from my original plan of mint, but I just loved how it was looking. I knew I needed to add those pops of bright blue, and I think it really looks like a peacock colorway. <laughs> I'm happy with it, even if it's not as I originally was planning. So I'm going to do a second go at doing the minty color, and this time I'm going to try to be a little more restrained and not add the speckles and uh, make it into something else. So I'm going to use the same sort of dye recipe to get to the mint, and I'm just going to leave it really subtle, really diluted, so that I don't get so much in such an intense color. And um, yeah, I'm going to mix that up today. Color's hard to capture, but I think this is a lot more of what I was looking for. It's minty, but it also kind of has more of a spring, uh, spring green sort of feel to it. Um, but there's still some variegation, which I really like having different elements, not just like a totally solid color. Um, and so I'm going to put this into the oven to set, and we will see how it looks in the end. So here are the finished fibers. We have the BFL here on the top and the Merino on the bottom. So I'll show you, this was my second attempt. This is the minty green going really soft and gentle, but it does have these pops of this brighter spring green color. Um, and so this is Merino here. And I thought with that minty color, I would go ahead and dye that last pre-wound um, large skein of the BFL self-striping that I had started and I did use a bit of that mint for a mint stripe and then I have a deep green and the green is actually the largest. These are varying width stripes. This little pop of this eggplanty purple is the smallest stripe and then there are medium size of the um, pink and of the mint. So I made two balls of this as well using that mint as kind of the inspiration here. So these are going to be in this week's shop update but I really hope you enjoyed seeing how they were dyed. As always thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Sure.